everyone, it's some GMZMC I here. How you doing? Welcome back to Let's Play of Bottle Rock Stories 2 Wings of Ruin last time round. We went to um somewhere and we got a We got more information about Frostfang and stuff. And this time round we're going to Jack Rock Cave. Um... Alright, so it's way over here. So it's, that's actually the place we haven't been before. And uh, in between the episodes I did actually go to the Everlands. So I did get a few more monsters from there. Everlands are a good source of monsters, but the only problem is I don't think you can get rare monsters from there. I, I mean, I think you can, but the it's it's very rare chance because you only get one egg from an Everland. So you do have to be aware of that. That guy said you're the one who made the windmills happen. Is that true, Avinia? To tell the truth, he was terrified of Frostfang at first. So... You mean he was against you coming back? That's right. But he seems perfectly fine around Frostfang now. Getting him and other villagers to accept Frostfang was a painfully long process. When I returned with Frostfang by my side, I was hopeful. At the time, the village was in really bad shape. There was even a monster living there. It seemed like a lost cause. What are we gonna do about that monster? Frostfang, let's go! Hey, it's Avinia! Did you come back to help us? Why else? Frostfang and I came back to do our part! I'm sorry about what I said to you. Stay in Kuan, please. Frostfang can stay too, of course. Okay, I'll stay. Let's rebuild our village together. Yay. They accepted Frostfang into the community, so we stayed. The windmills were the first things we rebuilt together. They mean so much to Kuan. They've come to symbolize all of us coming together, Frostfang included. Aw, I love a happy ending. And Frostfang became part of the Kuan family. Now, if we could only get people to trust Ratha too. I know how you feel about Ratha. He's as special to you as Frostfang is to me. You want him to be accepted? Keep trying. And eventually, people will come around. Yeah! And remember, you can count on me all the way! The monster in the cave is a Kezu. I'm sure of it. A long time ago, I got attacked by one and it knocked me out cold. This won't be easy. All right. Well, apparently it won't be easy, so... I'm, I'm, I'm a bit nervous now that she said that.
Right, let's see if I can uh I'm just concerned that uh he did just resist that. Or he's not. he's going for Or four figure damage. Nice. Well, that was, um, that was a bit rough because I didn't expect there to be the conchus there. I was like, oh, well, that's, uh, that's bad. Trying to avoid the encounters. Uh, they ain't working. I don't think I have an ivy cloud. No, I don't. Well, Dark Dine has a chest. No, I kind of want to get it. You know me in treasure chests. Oh, 
quick point medium. I don't want to see what that does, but let me get out of this situation first. Increases crit rate somewhat when hitting a monster part with an advantageous weapon. Hmm. I mean. No, I do like the the soul feel. Soul feels good. And it might be the other side actually. Because the advantage of self heal is that, you know, you get healed, but it's, I think it's fine. Oh, I was going the right way. Well. I don't think I can drag these guys out, but maybe I can. Go this other way. So I was going the right way. I guess that's what I get for thinking that that wasn't the right way. Yeah, it's like, how do I get past this? Yeah, I, th I think they prefer the, uh, the self-heal.
Oh, just change the speed. See, that's the problem with this, is that it's, uh, there are a lot of areas where the big monsters just sort of Oh boy Yes, I, th I think I do prefer that that Because that's crit rate for everything it Doesn't matter if, like, if you have a wet, the right rep equipped it's crit rate for everything. Uh huh. All clear. What? No way! My whiskers are right or wrong? Nothing to the right or left, nothing I promise, which leaves one more option. A chat behind you! <laughs> what the fuck? I, I don't think I like this. <laughs> it's a case of the old one, let's do things are expert, sneak attacks. Great. Oh, it's mad now. So it might change from tech to speed, probably. Yeah, so switch out to tech. They can paralyze. Take a risk here. Oh, is it back to uh, using tech attacks? Maybe he's back to using tech attacks, which means...
him out again, so we'll switch to that attack. Speed down. Okay, it might be back to the tech again. Okay, I'll use tech there, but it might be back to tech. The problem is, at the minute, I... Yeah, that doesn't restore status effects. I've only had the thing that restores status effects, but I don't. There we go. You're doing well. Believe in yourself. Oh, I believe it. I've never seen the rider bridge so quickly before. That was uh, that was slightly rough. Thanks to the paralysis, I was like, hmm. Buddy, you've gotten stronger. It's all thanks to your bonds with different monsters. Keep it up, and you'll be a positively claudacious writer, just like the one who inspired Avinia. Who said that boy was a writer? Mm -hmm. So, he isn't a writer? 
He tried his hardest to become a rider, but it just never worked out for him. If anyone should know that, it's you, Naviru. How? I think you're being a bit unfair. I never even met the guy. You've really forgotten him? Wait, so it's someone I know, like, personally? He never earned the title of rider, but he did ride the great Poogie. Though, the Poogie wasn't very pleased. No, no way! You mean to tell me it's... Jebly? Okay, let's get going. Well, it's slightly rough, but we got it. We got there. And uh, now we just have to report back to the chief. Relatively easy to do. Although I have lost a heart, but that, I think that's fine. I tend to head back. See, this is why I wanted to keep um, Pekka around because he does have that skill that. Um, removes status effects. So I was like, hmm, maybe I should keep Pekka in. I mean, I kind of used an item, which I just realized I, like, have items, but you know me and using items. Oh, 
Ah, é, né? Chief, Anna, look who's back! And pause for effect. We got the windmill parts you need! Welcome back, my friends. I see you've dealt with the Kezu. Of course, I expected no less from legendary heroes. Chief, this actually isn't the legendary ride. <laughs> Chief, you set the bar pretty high for us, huh? Thanks to your sweat and hard work, we'll have all the windmills working again. That's one thing off the to-do list. One thing? To-do list? Sounds like there's more. Yes, I've been too tied up here to look into the pit. I'd love to have your help, my friends. All right, let's get to the pit. Please, be careful out there. I'm not sure why, but the monsters near that pit have been acting up. You're telling me the Zamtrios we met outside the village was not what I would call friendly. I see. It seems to be happening all around. The guild's calling the lights Rage Rays. Rage Rays? The strange light from the pits is what's enraging monsters. At least, that's the guild's theory. Light that makes monsters mad. You may run into some Rage Raid monsters by the pit. Keep an eye out. Don't worry about us, Chief. Let the legendary duo handle this. Thank you. Good luck, my friends. We've been searching far and wide, but still no trace of old Day Day. The felines and I will keep up the search. Alright, light emerging from the pits is causing a monster strike to the river. Rage Ray phenomenon has spread far and far. The story is happening all across the land. Oh, can we connect with the pits, the light, and the rage rays? See, and once the find out. Pits of its tarp snow kind might not be there. Alright, so we will do that next time. So next time on Monster Hunter 2, 2 Big to Ruin, we'll go into the Vena Pit. So that means that you know this episode, don't forget to give a comment, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe for one part of my community, and follow the post on the wall. So of course, see you again.